this video, I will be taking you through one of my long days as a junior doctor for the NHS. So I start the day by drinking some water. I usually do not eat breakfast because I'm trying to practice intermittent fasting. I also journal in the morning. I try to journal every day. And this particular morning, my family were spamming me with lots of photos, especially of my dog, Hans. Um, because of COVID, I haven't been able to visit them and I miss them so much. I try to use as little product as possible. So due to COVID, we have to wear a face mask and our eye goggles, which covers most of our face anyway. So I try to make it quick and simple. Pro tip, I've realized that when I put finishing powder on my face, it prevents the amount of oil that develops on my face during my long shifts and it prevents me from getting spots. So today is a very special day. It is my first ever YouTube video. I am working a 13 hour shift. My shift starts at nine and ends at 10 p.m. So as a junior doctor, we have different rotations that we have um, in a year. So I finished my gastroenterology placement. I'm now my acute medicine placement. And within my gastro and acute medicine jobs, we have to do these long days in A&E for the medical take. So basically I'm in my medical or medicine rotation. I don't know what I'm feeling. I'm still quite tired. I'm not, I've not fully woken up yet. Normally I wake up at half seven to get ready, but I woke up at seven today because I wanted to vlog clips of my um, morning for you guys. I should try to wake up earlier and I really want to work on my morning routine because once I come home from work, I'm too tired to do anything. So I think those important tasks I need to do I should do before I go to work so I need to try to wake up a bit earlier um, and that's one of my resolutions for New Year's okay so I'm just gonna pack oof, get changed from my pajamas to normal clothes and I'm going to see one of my F2 colleagues that I met during one of my night shifts and while we were talking we found out that we live like two minutes away from each other so I'm gonna go see here and we're gonna go to the hospital together and start the shift Just going in, change to my scrubs and my mask. So I reach the hospital 10 minutes before my shift. I try to compose myself, uh, try to pray and hope that the shift will be okay. It's always so unpredictable. We don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know how many patients we're gonna see or how complicated the patients are going to be. I am going to the handover room. This is where the morning doctors will meet the night team doctors and they hand over any jobs or any patients for us to see. Normally the junior doctors will go with the consultant to see any patients that the night staff have seen. Oh my gosh guys, like this is the sweetest thing ever. Do you want to see? One of the healthcare assistants is so sweet. He's Filipino as well and we met on my first night shift and we just got really close and he's just super lovely super nice and yeah guess what so i came in this is my first shift after christmas the 28th and he said come to the ward and look he got me a present like it's just so sweet and i feel so blessed and lucky so this is one of the great things about working in medicine it's very social you make good friends and every time you see a colleague that you really like or that you get close to it just brightens up your day and it makes the shift so much better but yeah look at that like i feel bad i always feel bad when people give me things i'm going back to the tape thankfully it's not that busy today which is good so there's no one waiting to be seen yeah today's been okay so far i feel so grateful because i finished all my jobs i was allowed to go to the WH Smith in our hospital and buy myself a cup of coffee. Coffee is always boost my mood, so I think I'll need it for such a long shift ahead. So I go back to AE and I realize I've spoken too soon and it is actually not that chill. Uh, 10 patients came in all in one go and there's only a few of us doctors, so 
Um, it was really really busy and I had to try and see as many as possible because a &E was getting busy. I realized that the number of COVID cases are increasing and I have to be careful. I see patients for three hours, four hours and I get really hungry. I don't think I have time for lunch so I opened my locker and ate one of the chocolates that I was given as a gift. I think it's so important to have snacks in the hospital because you never know when you get hungry and when you'll have maybe one or two minutes to take a break and get something to snack on. After I left to get my chocolates, my computer was taken and I finally found another one so I changed positions. Instead of going for lunch, I stayed in A&E to try and see more patients because I think it sucks for patients to be waiting in A&E for so long. Normally I don't feel like I can rest until there's maybe only one person waiting in a and &E. I was able to get a break by myself. Thankfully, we've been provided free lunches from the hospital and I've chosen this green curry vegetable dish because I think I preferred it over the meat dish this day. I only allowed myself a little break and I went back to a and &E to see more patients. I really shouldn't have said it would be okay. I saw more and more patients um, throughout the day. Here's me concentrating very hard. I'm also looking at the clock, trying to count down how many minutes there is until handover and until I can go home. It's so around quarter past 10 and it was a really good day. I really enjoyed it. I was really busy. I didn't get to have lunch or go to the toilet until 5 p.m. but all my patients were lovely, it was really fun, interesting cases, and my colleagues are amazing. I love my colleagues, um, and they made time fly so quickly, and the reg was really good, and support was good, the consultant was great. It was just a really good day. Finally home! Excited to eat and excited to take a break and shower. Hello guys, I'm home, I'm back, I'm very exhausted and I'm really tired so I went straight to the shower and then I went straight to the fridge it's after 11, I'm just gonna journal my day and then I'm also gonna FaceTime my family thank you guys for watching, if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and if you like me and want to be my friend then please subscribe and if you have any suggestions and ways to make my youtube or my videos better please let me know and if you have any ideas for any youtube content that you want to see then also comment down below for the meantime i hope you guys are happy healthy and safe and please take care especially with the rising covid cases at the moment just be mindful uh, protect yourself and protect others, wash your hands, wear your mask, and yeah, take care. I'll see you guys later. Bye.